If I upscale this image in mid-journey, I get an image that is 1024 by 1024 pixels when its aspect ratio is one to one. But if we increase the aspect ratio, will it increase the resolution? I re-roll the same image, give it an aspect ratio of 16 to nine and submit. It creates an image that is 1456 by 816, which may seem larger, but it's actually not. One dimension is longer and one dimension is shorter. So generally speaking, whatever we produce in mid journey with version five is going to be around the same resolution overall. But how can we get much larger than that? Well, now you might think that zoom out will increase the resolution, but what it does is actually keeps the resolution the same and simply shrinks the image. But if we pan, we can actually increase the resolution of the image. So if I decide to pan down on this image, so panning has made the resolution 1024 by 1536. Our original image was 1024 by 1024. So it's actually added imagery onto the bottom of this and actually increased, not increased the resolution of the original image, but made the whole image in general a little bit larger than before. Once I've chosen a direction like down in this instance, I can only go up or down. But if I choose left or right, I can only go left or right, but I can basically keep going into infinity. So I can decide to pan up this time. So now our image is even taller at 1024 by 2048. And we can keep going, but at some point things start to get a little bit skewed and the focus of the photo or image is not there. We're also constrained to this 1024 width, but there's another technique you can use to further enhance it, but it does make it more difficult to get better images. This time when I create my prompt, what I can do instead is since the aspect ratio changes the nature of the resolution, I can go to dash dash AR and add an aspect ratio of say two to four. I can choose which one I think is best to upscale. I'll go with number two. So now the image is 768 by 1536, but because I've changed that aspect ratio, panning left once and right once, I've created an image that is 1536 by 1536. And I could continue to do this, but it's not the most ideal method. As a matter of fact, it's difficult to get the images you want if you continue to go beyond that, and you're still capped at 1536 at this particular aspect ratio. So what we need to do is find another way to upscale our images. That brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Wirestock. If you want to take these images that you are upscaling and sell them online to stock photo sites like Adobe Stock or Deposit Photos, anywhere that accepts AI art, what Wirestock does is it allows you to upload a whole range of images and it will automatically tag and describe them and submit them to those stock photo sites. You can even sell art and prints from your own Wirestock portfolio and even create collections. You get 85% of each sale. However, the hassle of tagging and describing every single image is pretty much taken care of for you. As long as you have a re reasonably well upscaled image, it's pretty straightforward. And they do offer their own upscaler, which works straight in Discord and is perfect for mid journey. Now, once it's all set up onto your server, you simply create your image using mid journey, upscale the image that I want. And now that I have my upscaled image, I'm gonna go up top here Click on the three dots, go down to apps, upscale and publish. And Wirestock will begin to upscale and publish that image and will take a couple of minutes. Now I head back to my Wirestock portfolio and my image is there and it's been upscaled four times to 4096 by 4096 pixels. And to set that up, there are some easy to follow instructions in your Wirestock account page. So now you don't even have to leave Discord to start selling your images on stock photo sites. Now you can start with Wirestock for free and you'll get 20 submissions. However, if you want more, you may have to go for a premium plan, which gives you 100 additional submissions a month, but it also gives you faster keywording and review for those marketplaces, along with more control over your royalties, better support, and you can actually download the files that you upscale. So check out Wirestock using the link in the description below. Use the coupon code WADE to receive 20% off. Now, back to the video. Can take our images to Photoshop and enlarge it, but we don't really get the best results. And we can also try an AI upscaler, which is probably gonna be the best result. And we can do something like Topaz Gigapixel slash Photo AI, which I believe will get you the best result. We will compare these in a minute. Or you can try a free upscale like upscale.media or something like that. So let's jump in and take a look. So I've started with what I consider to be the best option, which is the Topaz Photo AI, which uses Topaz Gigapixel Upscaler. I've got our larger image, which we panned, and our original 1024 by 1024 image. And I can turn the upscale on over here. It says two and a half, two, I'm gonna to go to max, which is six. 
So our resolution goes from 1024 to 6144, 6000 by 144. I apply the same basic settings to our uh, panned image and we get uh, 9000 by 9000. By zooming in on certain areas, you can see how Topaz adds detail to the skin, to the eye, and actually creates an image which is pretty impressive. Instead of just sort of upscaling the pixels, it detects areas and adds detail in there, which isn't actually there originally. Things like the hair of the beard turn out pretty well. And this is only at 50%, I go to 100%. You can see the sort of job that it does. And with our original image, it's done a pretty good job again by adding detail into the wrinkles of the skin and optimizing the hair around the lips. And this is just the basic settings. There are other models you can choose. You can also remove noise and sharpen. There's even a face recovery option. So. I'm gonna run with that for now and move on to the next one so you can see what kind of results we get. Now I am also gonna try upscale.media. This is a free service and if your original image is under 1500 by 1500 pixels, you can go to upload image and choose our original 1024 by 1024 image. And I do recommend converting that to a JPEG if you're using upscale.media. It will start as a 2X upscale, but we can go down here and bump it up to four and you can check the quality difference here we can choose to enhance the quality and it sharpens things up just a little bit more. I'm gonna download this image and now let's jump into Photoshop and I've got the original image open here and what I can do is go to filter, neural filters, turn on super zoom and I can zoom this now by up to six times whereas previously it was only up to about three. Click okay and this is the result we get. So I've brought them all into Photoshop and I've got them all laid so we can check out which one looks the best and the eye probably being one of the best places to start. This is the original image, not upscaled. You can see how pixelated it is. I turn on super zoom and it's done a pretty good job. It's added detail for the sake of detail a little bit, but ultimately it's done a really decent job at 6xing that image. When I move on to upscale.media, this is only a 4X image, it's only four times larger, but even though it hasn't added as much detail, it's a bit more of a natural upscale than the super zoom. I switch to the Topaz Gigapixel, and you can see how it's a bit more natural and also added detail in the right places. Now, if I decide to compare Topaz to super zoom, you can see the super zoom is a little bit kind of all over the place. The Topaz is a bit more intelligent in its upscaling. But if I move to a different area, now this is the original. We can showcase some of his mustache and some of the hair to see how it's turned out. We go to super zoom and it's there, but it's a little bit sort of, there's a few artifacts and looks a bit funny. If we go to upscale.media, a bit better, a bit neater, not bad for, for, for Xing that image. Topaz, Topaz has done a better job, but it's still not quite perfect, but I think it's done the best job yet. If I compare that to super zoom, it's just a much more natural looking upscale. Overall, looking at some of these wrinkles, Topaz compared to Super Zoom just looks much more natural. Upscale.media is not too bad. I would say if you're looking for a free solution, Upscale.media is probably the best. If you want willing to pay, Topaz is definitely gonna give you the best results all around. However, if you're gonna use Wirestock, you can also use their upscaler if you would rather go that way as well. Now, there are links in the description to all these resources, so check them out. Uh, otherwise, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.